Hey there, Gemini. This is Cindy from the New Moon Tarot, and this is a general love reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Gemini for the week of April 24th. If this one doesn't resonate so much, go ahead and check out your natal chart and my other readings, specifically your moon, which is emotions, and Venus, which is how you show up in relationships. You might want to do that anyway, since there could be messages there for you. We are looking at the overall energy. I'm also going to pull cards for your person and clarify everything in real time. Yes, that means shuffling. Please like and subscribe so you don't miss out. If you want the extended, go ahead and click the join button down below. It's $10. You get access to all of the extendeds for every sign for an entire month. And if you would like your own private reading, you can find all of my info down in the description box. I am running a 10 questions for $66 special. Okay, so... I think this is all about you, Gemini. We've got the Knight of Swords. That is specifically your card. However, you could also be dealing with a Libra or an Aquarius here. Knight of Swords is usually like running away from something. Um, sometimes it can be very reactive or impulsive energy. And I do think there's something wrong. We've got the Five of Pentacles, which is feeling lost, uh, isolated. I have this sense of lack and lo um, loss. I don't have what I want. I feel alone. There's just like a, a sense of, of lack here. Uh, these opportunities are not good with the Four of Cups. That's a sense of being out of alignment. I think of it as like you go over to your dresser or you go over to your closet and you look inside and you're like, I have nothing to wear. Even though you literally, you know, have you know lots of things that you could wear. It's just, I'm unhappy. I'm out of sorts. We've got the Five of Swords. I'm up in my head. Um, I may be battling this inner conflict here. It can also be like a bit of a money issue or a time issue with the Five of Pentacles. And so far, I'm not seeing anybody else here, but we'll we'll see what's, what's what in a second. Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands. This is the Lightseer's Tarot. I'm going to use the Tarot of Mystical Moments to clarify. At the end, I'll pull cards for how your person feels about you as well as an oracle card. Ten of Wands is being burdened. I'm exhausted. Uh, it can be a painful ending with somebody. There may have been a, a bit of like a struggle here. Okay. Hmm. It's like you're in your head or you're overly worried about something. Somebody is overly worried about you. There's like a sense of baggage. That Ten of Wands. Hmm. Ace of Pentacles, a brand new beginning. This is abundance coming in. Could be an abundance of love, of time. Could actually be money abundance if that Five of Pentacles was about your finances. We've got the Page of Cups. Page of Cups can mean communication coming in for you. It can mean um, like listening to your intuition, like intuitive messages coming to you. We have this Ace of Cups. Now, Cups are, are about like intuition. They are about love. They're about feelings here. And then we've got this Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like this reading is more about you than it is somebody else here. Um, I think you have opportunities like abundance and love, abundance in, well, abundance, money, these opportunities coming to you. But I think that you have some burdens here to release. That Eight of Swords in Reverse is releasing. The Ten of Wands is releasing. I think you need to make some room in, in your life. You need to make some space. Uh... I don't know if you're familiar with the law of attraction at all, but if you want to invite better energies to come towards you, you have to let go of things that are kind of holding you back or holding you down. Um, like, for example, um, I want a new relationship, but I'm still holding on to these mementos. Not like you can't put them in a box somewhere and keep them. Hello, Gilmore Girls. But like you're displaying them. You keep them out. You need to make space, I think, in your life. You need to make room for this. We've got the seven of cups in reverse. And some of this may be about 
like your energy and cleaning it up, especially like if you're tired and you're overwhelmed. Nine of Swords is like being deep in your head. Ten of Wands, I'm carrying all these burdens here. The Seven of Cups in reverse is getting clarity. And then we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, structure in your life. Um, it's the grown-up card. You might have some blocks. See? You might have some blockages to this. The Ten of Pentacles is, well, on one hand, it could be financial stability. It could be generational wealth that you build. On the other hand, it could be a very long-term relationship, a relationship that lasts decades. Like you're building a family tree together. You live together. You're taking care of the, the former generation as well as the new generation coming up. Maybe you're keeping yourself tied to something that makes you unhappy. And it could be a job that makes you unhappy. It could be a relationship that makes you unhappy. That five of pentacles. But here's your call. Look at all these aces. This is saying let go and move forward. Um, be willing to kind of release the hounds here. Ace of wands is pursuing something. It's being excited. It's a reason to get out of bed in the morning. I feel good. I feel happy. I feel joyous. Six of Wands. Oops. Six of Wands is a victory card. It's a happiness card. Uh, it's winning, being seen, being recognized. Feeling like you have everything that you want. Yeah, I, I just think that there's like a lot here to let go of. Eight of Swords in reverse. I would do some releasing at the next full moon. The next full moon is the 5th of May. And it's the flower moon. I think your energy needs to be brightened up a little bit. I think you're kind of exhausted and overwhelmed. And I think it's time for some big changes to come in. You got to make space for it, though, first. You got to make room for this to come in for you. Okay. Let's do... I think we're going to skip the, the card about feelings. And we're going to go into... The wisdom of the oracle here for you. I feel like that was more of a reading for your sake, for what you need to do here. Okay, so we're going to do a card for the wisdom of the oracle. Okay, what is your oracle card? Okay, we have flexible. So, open-mindedness, being adaptable without compromising what's most important. For relationships, it's important to be open to new experiences and learning new things. Letting go of rigidity is what's required right now. You don't always have to be right all the time, do you? It's okay to come to a happy compromise. It's a beautiful day when you meet halfway. The appearance of this card in a reading could also signal that you have met someone new who may not be your type, but who will turn out to be so special that you can re easily release your old ideas. And you may have not met someone, or maybe you have, but it's like be flexible, be adaptable. There's more than one plan for you. Let's do the prosperity message too. Even when you have a clear vision of how you're going to manifest something, what it will look like, who will share in it, and what will then be available to you. You still need to relax and open up to the other possibilities. Spirit may have much better plans for you. It could be a job you haven't thought of, a new source of money, or some other opportunity that eluded your imagination. You're being called to be very open here, to kind of let whatever comes to you come to you. That is hard to do. But that's the message coming through. I think in the extended, we're going to do, what if you stay with like... The, the path that you're on right now, what if you release and go to the new path, the unknown or what you don't see, and then the advice. All right. Thank you so much and blessed be. If you want to order your own reading, you can find that in the description box and take care.